Welcome to a world where animation and reality intertwine. Today, we explore the philosophical depths of our animated experiences. Virtual worlds have become a second home to many, providing escape and entertainment. But what happens when the lines between the animated and the real begin to blur? We immerse ourselves in worlds crafted by pixels and codes, but does this alter our perception of reality? The characters we meet, the adventures we embark upon, they leave imprints on our minds and emotions. But are these virtual experiences valid in shaping our philosophical perspectives? Let's delve into the concept of reality, a tangible, sensory experience that is universally accepted. Now, introduce animation, a crafted, controlled, and curated form of reality. It brings to life worlds that were once confined to our imaginations. But does living in these animated worlds alter our understanding of our own reality? We form connections, experience adventures, and encounter challenges in these virtual spaces. But how much of it translates into our understanding of existence and reality? The characters we meet in animations, do they hold a philosophical significance in our lives? They laugh, they cry, they love, and they lose, just like us. But they are bound by the codes that create them, limited to their animated existence. Can we draw parallels between their existence and ours? Are we, too, bound by the unseen codes of society, ethics, and morality? The animated worlds often present scenarios that challenge our ethical and moral compass. They introduce dilemmas that have no right or wrong answers, much like our own reality. But in animation, the outcomes are crafted, controlled, and often idealized. In our reality, the outcomes are uncertain, varied, and real. So, what can we learn from the philosophical dilemmas presented in animated worlds? Can they provide insights into our own moral and ethical challenges? The concept of free will is often explored in animated narratives. Characters often break free from their coded destinies, challenging their creators. Does this mirror our own quest for meaning, purpose, and defiance against predetermined paths? The creators of animated worlds play God, crafting existences, destinies, and realities. But who crafts ours? Is it a divine entity, the universe, or do we craft it ourselves? Animated characters often seek the same truths we seek, understanding existence, purpose, and destiny. They embark on quests, face challenges, and find resolutions. But life doesn't always afford us such neatly packaged narratives. Our quests are ongoing, our challenges ever-present, and resolutions not always in sight. So, when we immerse ourselves in animated worlds, are we seeking the resolutions absent in our reality? The philosophical questions posed by animations are profound and thought-provoking. They offer a mirror to our society, our beliefs, and our ethical dilemmas. But they also offer a contrast, a glimpse into a world where outcomes can be crafted and assured. Our reality is messy, uncertain, and unpredictable. But it is also rich, diverse, and profoundly real. The philosophical explorations through animated worlds provide insights, reflections, and perhaps, solace. They allow us to explore scenarios in a controlled environment, offering perspectives we might not have considered. But at the end of the day, when the screen goes dark, we return to our reality. A reality that is beautifully unscripted, wildly unpredictable, and deeply personal. The philosophical dilemmas we face are not bound by codes or scripts. They are complex, multifaceted, and lack straightforward answers. We are the creators of our paths, the authors of our stories, and the crafters of our destinies. 
In our reality, we are both the animated character and the creator, navigating through the philosophical dilemmas of existence. So, let's continue to explore, question, and seek understanding in both animated worlds and our own. Subscribe, like, and share your thoughts in the comments below.